Hey Dom, this is Dave Desai. Today we have a bunch of stuff to talk about. I wanted to get into Jungkook's claims of a nose implant. I also wanted to get into a member Jimin being a little emotional and getting everyone crying. And of course, I wanted to talk about an apology being demanded over the crush situation. So, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a teaspoon mug merch, and let's get into it. If you aren't aware of what happened a couple days ago, crush was under backlash for alleged racism. He allegedly didn't touch two black girl's hands and this was used against him to claim that he was being racist. Crush came out and denied those accusations and he said that he was gesturing for safety. As I had mentioned in that video, I felt like if he were to do something racist, which I don't think he would, he definitely would not do it publicly. So it made no sense why it appeared so blatantly racist. The video in which they were using to prove that Crush was racist was a video where Crush was recorded from afar. And then another video in which was a close close-up video of the situation to disprove what Crush had said, which was that he did not touch her hand because there was apparently too much pushing or things like that. The person who claimed racism was also going all over social media to try to bring Crush's name down and hurt him. And then of course J-Hope got dragged into this because he simply liked Crush's Instagram apology post. But after receiving some new evidence that disproved all this, and I will talk about it, it seemed that not only did everyone reside with Crush, but it ended up trending and people demanded all these people who had hated on Crush to apologize and hopefully also get rid of their mean comments on his Instagram post. What was even more amazing is that this truly shows J-Hope's character. He is loyal, he is amazing, and he is not willing to just kick someone to the curve because they're in a scandal. This really shows we don't know the full story behind the scenes. So what apparently actually happened? Well, the original clip that was used to call Crush racist was muted apparently, and it is believed that the footage was edited. I can't confirm or deny that, but definitely there was a clip where the audio was in there and was shared and it showed Crush saying, be careful in Korean. It was also reported by several fans that it was raining that night and Crush had said this multiple times throughout the show, which goes perfectly with his statement, right? Like if he was just actually being racist and then the statement came out, it would just feel like damage control and not make any sense. But Crush's statement actually matches up perfectly with the real clip. What is interesting to me is that apparently someone went through lengths to try to do this and make Crush look bad. I'm not entirely sure why someone would pay hundreds of dollars for a show and attempt to cancel someone. The people that go are supposed to be the people that are big fans and supposed to be people that give the artist the benefit of the doubt. This isn't a TV media situation where there's maybe hundreds of people who are not fans of the artist and then they take things out of context or just hate the artist so they try to cancel them. The people at the concert are fans of the artist. Should shouldn't you at least give them the benefit of the doubt or assume that they may not be racist? The person who allegedly made the claims did end up deleting their account and deactivating it. There's no doubt that they got a lot of hate and I don't blame them entirely. I think she just misunderstood the situation and assumed something that may or may not have been true. I also think that this is why what BTS does is so important because I feel like the situation wouldn't have even gotten to that level if it was BTS. Everyone would have immediately jumped to defend BTS. But since Crush is a bit smaller, it took a minute for him to get justice. Some situations that BTS does which are amazing are birthday live streams. They really give us an insight on what they are as a person, so before racism claims can even happen, they're shut down. Jimin did a V Live for his birthday and it was just so cute. BTS is extremely busy lately, so for him to jump on and do a V Live with us is so beautiful and amazing. He was building Lego flowers and then he noticed a question on the screen that asked him what his favorite city was. Jimmy reported saying that his favorite city is wherever ARMY is and then ARMYs began to literally cry, especially since this was supposed to be a stream about him and then he decided to make it about loving ARMY. It's really beautiful and it's moments like that that make us all feel so close to BTS and we really love it. Of course, I think we also need more BTS content as the fandom seemingly seems to be restless right now. Jungkook has been getting the bulk of some of these hate comments thrown his way. So if you don't know what happened here, let me give some backstory and talk about it. Bear with me. If you aren't aware, BTS was at the FACT Music Awards and they ended up winning so many awards. I believe they broke a record for this. But when Jungkook was on the stage, I think he was giving a speech. People were taking photos of Jungkook, screen grabbing it, and then reposting it to say that Jungkook got a nose implant. In fact, videos of this ended up going viral on TikTok and people were saying that Jungkook had his 
his nose done. Given that it is already believed that BTS has had a nose job, this made the videos go even more viral. South Korea is basically known to have the best plastic surgery and the most people who get plastic surgery very casually. So eyelid surgery is a big one and they treat it like going to the dentist. Nose surgery is one of the most common surgeries in the world and of course South Korea is no different. People often like to take BTS older photos and compare them with newer photos to say that BTS members have had a nose job. There's so many factors that can contribute to a nose looking different. When you're younger, your nose could fit your face less well and then you could grow into it. That happens, then you also have makeup that these very talented and expensive makeup artists are hired to make any nose type look any type of way. What was also more shocking about these specific nose pictures of Jungkook at the TMA was that it was a bump on his nose. So it made it look like it appeared like Jungkook had an implant and the implant moved. Funny enough, it wasn't even a haters who had started this, but seemingly people in the fandom just out of concern. Of course, a lot of people have said multiple times that even if Jungkook or any BTS member got surgery, this is seen as very normal in Korea and not a big deal. However, the alleged implant was an interesting theory that everyone seemingly had. But once you really look at the pictures, it just seems like a pimple. People were saying implant because it was the same color as his skin and it was a bump. But also, why didn't anyone think it was a medical condition or something? Like, why jump right to surgery? That is not how a nose implant looks. That's just a pimple with makeup over it. I think a lot of people want to justify why someone is successful. So they'll pick a particular thing and say that is why. Like claims that BTS is successful because they're attractive. And while yes, they're very attractive, it's not that that makes them successful. I believe it's something that gives them an edge, but if their music was bad, then it doesn't matter how much of an edge. 99% of girl groups are hot and gorgeous, but they don't all make it because the music isn't there. Others were claiming that Jungkook has the cutest nose. And while yes, this is true, I don't think this argument should be made. This is implying that if Jungkook did have a less attractive nose, then he'd have surgery. But since it's cute, there's no way he'd get it, which makes no sense. And also kind of shames getting plastic surgery. I don't think there's anything wrong with plastic surgery. However, I just don't think you'd be able to tell because a lot of celebrities have surgery and it's done so well by a professional. So if you're saying that they are, then chances are they do not. And it could be makeup. People were definitely scared and wondering what Jungkook would think of this situation and who knows how he would actually react. However, I think he would not see this as anything offensive. I think I'd find it absolutely hilarious if people were saying these things about me because I'd know if I had surgery or not. So if I didn't, the rumors would be quite funny. There was an accusation a little while ago where Jungkook was reading Q&A questions from Instagram and someone wrote telling him to eat a dog poo and he responded saying that that was a bit harsh. It can be a bit of a reflex to want to jump on a mean comment and respond, but not only that, but to lecture the person to try to make them feel bad for saying these words. Instead, Jungkook's responses are always cool and collected, and as we can tell, they definitely don't affect him at all. I don't think he'd be too upset at this. But what do you think? How do you feel about Jimin's emotional words? How do you feel about people demanding an apology for Crush? And how do you feel about Jungkook and the nose implant rumors? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my page now for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.